April 1, Monday of the fourth week of Lent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While he was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord Unless you people see signs, we have a penchant for signs or miracles. For us, to see is to believe. Jesus invites us to believe in Him even if there are no signs. In the Gospel, however, Jesus adjusts to people's expectations as He grants the request of a royal official for His dying son. When His son lives, the official in his whole household came to believe. John comments that this is Jesus' second sign, the first one being the miracle at Cana. Still, the ideal remains to believe in Jesus even without the miracles. When we have faith, we open ourselves to see the many signs Jesus works in us and through us. Let us not waste time demanding for signs. Right away, we should express our firm belief in the power of Jesus who has worked many miracles for us. Let us express our unfailing faith through prayer.